man, we back. Marcy Sports Talk with the building. I should just combine this video with the Glover Queen video. I wasn't thinking. But uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Uh, check them out the channel out, Goodfellas Sports TV, for more sports, music, entertainment, and news. So that's Goodfellas Sports TV, my other channel. It's my main channel. But uh, yeah, man, Carryon Johnson is back at practice. And some believe that um, he will be playing Sunday. And the Lions has just got to be the stupidest organization that i ever seen. They really trying to do damage control by winning four pointless games and not learning from their mistake last year, okay? Um, last year, they didn't shut down Matthew Stafford. He ended up having a chronic back injury. Now, Kirion could have came back last year if they was playing for something, but they shut him down. All right, Kirion, we had this conversation, too, about Kirion being the uh, – I got a couple minutes until I get where I need to go. Carry on being a future running back for the Lions, right? All right. They trying to do damage control and win a few games to make the record look better. All right. They win one, two, three more games. Oh, we know. Or they can win four games, which I don't see this happening. Oh, we seven. We made some improvement. Look, we know this team ain't good at all. No matter what you do in these last four games, you will please the fans by just tanking. We'll be proud if y'all just tanked and actually did the right thing. Rest Kerryon Johnson, it makes no difference. If you're going to cut him at the end of the season or whatever, have a heart, rest him. It, it makes no sense. Let's just go out here, be bad, compete with the Dolphins, the Redskins who got another win. Let's compete with them for the top spot. We need a quarterback. Dolphins need a quarterback. The Bengals need a quarterback. Let's get in the best position to get a quarterback. If not, if you feel you think Matthew Stafford or Block is good enough to back up Stafford for now, you want to wait the next year to get Trevor Lawrence, you got no problem with your boy, all right? Then you can get Chase Young or you can get somebody else up there. It makes me no different. Try to get in the best position to get the highest draft pick. Bare minimum, you can move back and get more assets, you know? That's what you can do. But bringing Kerryon Johnson back is just the most idiotic thing you can do. This, this organization is selfish. They think their fan base is stupid. You think if you win one, two more games, we're going to say, oh, oh, the Lions are improving at the end of the season. I see the light. If, if they had carry on for all 16 games, and they haven't shut down Matthew Stafford either, or if they had Matthew Stafford and carry on, they would have been the plus. I know for a fact that with this, this franchise, is always something that's going to go wrong. You know? It's always something. If Stafford and carry on play, we probably wouldn't have won all them games that we was close to winning by. Some teams play up and down to their conference. Oh, it's David Blogg. We know we gonna house the Lions in the end. You know what I'm saying? So it's not a guarantee that if they had Stafford and carry on and, and and they would have and they would have won the game. Now, if you tell them you had Deshaun Hand, you had some other healthy defenders out there, Melvin, you had a preful of guys, then yeah, I think it may be a little different. But at the end of the day, no matter what the route that we take the uh the route we take to get where we at, we always end in the same predicament. No playoff win, no division championship since it was the NFC Central. And we sitting here, stuck here, being uh, miserable. You know, and just do the right thing. Shut the man down. Let him have a full offseason to be healthy. Now, is he the, the, the running back of the future? I don't think not. I think not. Now, I don't know about the running backs that's coming out. I don't know how you evaluate Jonathan Taylor. Because historically, Wisconsin running backs haven't done so well in the league. Exception was Melvin Gordon. But... I don't know if it's a Zeke Elliott type of uh, prospect, Christian McCaffrey, Fournette, Todd Gurley type of guy at the top of the draft. You got to look at it. You know what I'm saying? You know, Saquon Barkley was doing, before he hurt the ankle this year, he was doing magical things behind that, um, that uh, uh, you know, improving Giants line, but it ain't nothing special. You got to get you a, a running back that can turn something into no nothing into something. And that's the God honest truth. You gotta get you gotta get you a nice back that can get the job done. Uh, of course, you gotta need you gonna need a right tackle and a left tackle, and that's what they they gotta figure out. Like, are we gonna get one in free agency? Are we gonna get one in the draft? You gonna get one later in the draft? That's for them to figure out. I hold no weight in their management uh, front office. But with carry on, I, I would just I would just have him as a depth guy next year. If he came in here, and we draft a running back. We bought a high profile for Asian that we believe that can come in and contribute and we brought him in 
and you know, carry on beat him out and carry on turn out to be good, so be it. But I'm putting him, I'm putting him in the, I'm putting him in the chamber. I'm keeping him one in the chamber, and I'm looking to upgrade that position. May it be Bo Scar, Bo Scarborough, carry on, and a new running back next year. But I'm looking for a spectacular running back to come in and do the job. No more middle of the road running backs. No more like, oh, we should get Mark Ingram type of guys. And he haven't been fantastic, but that's the Lamar Jackson effect. We need a Lamar. We need a Kamara, a Hunt, a McCaffrey. You know, we need we need a special we need a special uh, a running back prospect. And if it don't come this year, then you get the next best thing, and then you just keep looking. But or you try to improve your line. But to be honest with Stafford, getting older, they need that running back. But I don't believe carry on the guy. And you can say, oh, if they improve the line and this and that, cool. They improve the line and carry on becomes that guy, cool. But if they improve the line and he don't. You want to have something behind him that's durable and that can handle the load. At this point, they didn't try to James Stewart, to Reggie Bush, to Kevin Jones's, the job and bestest of the world, the Reggie Bushes. You know what I'm saying? They didn't try those guys. The carry on Johnson. They need a, a tier one electric top profile running back. And if that running back in the draft and the Lions take him one or two, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. Especially if he work out. I get it. But they need linemen. Just because you take a lineman in the first round of top five pick. I mean, well, what was old boy uh man uh, Tommy what Mandrich out of Michigan State? He wasn't nothing. Robert Gallery out of Iowa, he was a, one of the top picks. He wasn't nothing. You know, uh 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 Eric Fisher. The Kansas City, he's straight, but he ain't, he didn't garnish he didn't garnish a top five pick. What is it, one or two? It's a, it's a whole bunch of linemen. They go high and that's bust. So people think, oh, we should drop a lineman in the top five or with the top pick. It's a whole bunch of linemen that ain't that get, get linemen, office linemen that be drafted that high that suck. They don't guarantee nothing. You know, now if you can get you a, uh, if you get that kid from uh, a guy, a guy like that kid from uh, um, 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 uh, shit, I forget his name, from Indianapolis. That guard they got, uh, man, 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 that boy a problem. Or you get you a Zach Martin, that kid a problem. You get you a Tyron Smith, that kid a problem. You know what I'm saying? You you get one of the top prospects, you know they good, then I get it. But carry on, I don't think he the future no more. I think he just a guy. And I would and I would approach the draft as if he was just a guy. And if he beat out the guy that I brought, I bring in. Then, then, uh, then that is what it is. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Appreciate the love, support. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email. If you got business questions, car response, and video requests. Keep sharing the videos. Don't forget to check them out the channel. Wild Goodfellow Sports TV. One time for the one time. Bye.